this is James Fretwell for Amplified on Queen's Radio. We are here with the union at the SU. Can you just introduce yourselves, um, names and roles in the band? All right, I'm Pete. I play guitar and sing. My name's Susan. I like to wear ladies' underwear. <laughs> and that is your role in the band? Yes, I, I think it's an important role, actually. <laughs> now, my name's Luke and I play guitar. <laughs> Great, so... Um, so tell us about uh, the band. Uh, blah, tell us about the band itself. What makes the union special and unique? Uh, well, it's the, the union is basically me and Luke uh, collaborating, songwriting wise, and um, and yeah, and we've got the drummer there and Chris there who plays bass. And what makes us special and unique? Um, it's unique. Yeah. Like to go back to my underwear. Again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the only band out there that does this? I think so. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what, what, make, uh, what makes us unique? Um, what makes you, I, I don't know really. Um, I think that's not for us to sort of really say. I think we do things in our own style when we, we bring in elements of different kinds of uh, music. It's not it's not just do, rock. Do what we want. Yeah, we basically <laughs> do what the fuck we like, which is nice. Um, you know, there's elements of Americana in what we do and blues, and uh, it's maybe a little bit more, um, I guess, rootsy than. Uh, a lot of bands that we get put in, uh, you know, uh, maybe compared to genre-wise, but uh, we we have a, a flagrant disregard for the rules, so we shall be, you know, obviously making a um, a speed reggae album next time, probably. <laughs> Fair enough. You just do yeah, whatever we, the whatever we want. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's the best way. It keeps it fresh, keeps it interesting, mm. keeps it inspiring, and yeah. If you had to describe the band in just three words, what would those three words be? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Great big tits. Great big tits. Yeah. Well, Pete and I, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking about them too. What have you got them? Uh, it's, it's, it's a bit of a, uh, a, a daft question because I suppose um, it, it takes, you know, as, as you said yourself, the, the answer to the last question. You yeah. know, we like to think, <laughs> we like to kid ourselves that we have all these interesting elements in what we do. Um, so. Uh, Three words. Three words. Sum up. Spontaneous. Everything. No, great big tits. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do better than that. Okay, so at what point in your lives did you um, know that you wanted to be musicians? Uh, I was 11 years old. I mm -hmm. sort of um, I had the <laughs> Nevermind album by Nirvana and sort of wanted to start to learn to play guitar and learn a few chords and stuff, and then that was it for me, really. That's all I wanted to do, and just got completely obsessed with it. And and yeah, life's been rubbish ever since, really. <laughs> uh, about the same age, about 11 years old. Um, obviously, uh, I'm, I'm a bit older than Pete, so it was with me. I went to a, I went to see T Rex in 1971, uh, and just around my 11th birthday, actually, and that was fantastic. And then immediately after that, I um, was I, I fell in love with the guitar as a, as a sort of thing, and then got very into Jimi Hendrix. And because I was a teenager in the 70s, I was very lucky. I was uh, you know, around at a time when Led Zeppelin was still playing, and every week in the 70s it seemed like there was a, another classic album, whether it was, you know, The Who, uh, Pink Floyd, The Eagles, whoever it was. Um, there was always like, fantastic albums being released, and it was a really good time to be a teenager, I think. Uh, so I sort of grew up with all those kind of aspirations and, and, and uh, wanted to make music like the people that, that I liked, you know, which is, I think, how everybody gets started, really. And, uh, Still here trying. <laughs> <laughs> Best thing about being you guys, about being the union? I can answer that one actually quite easily. Uh, the last band I was in, I wrote all the fucking songs, and this band, I only write half of them, so it's a lot less work. So that's good. <laughs> you know what I thought you were going to say? I thought you were going to say great big tits again. <laughs> no, see, I was. Oh, uh, no, no, I'm not, I'm not that obvious. <laughs> Maybe later. Uh, okay, just, just do what we want to do, really. That's, that's not, not having. That's quite. Not having a record label is sometimes quite hard, but um, it's also a good thing. The fact that we haven't got anybody breathing down our necks telling us what music to make, and yeah, so we just kind of follow our hearts really and do what we want. So that's that's probably the best thing I would have thought. What do you reckon the worst thing is? Having a Scottish drummer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I think that's fair. What's the stupidest thing that you've ever done on tour? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I, I'd like to answer that, but yeah. the people are still alive, and I, I'd only get sued. Okay, right, Dave, our drummer, um, this is obviously yesterday was the first show of the tour, and uh, he was coming downstairs from the dressing room, and he runs into the, the bass player from the answer and says, uh, Hi, 
Hi, uh, my name's Dave. I'm the drummer in the answer. <laughs> That's pretty stupid. <laughs> McDonald's or Burger King? McDonald's. Right. Oh, really? See, yeah. Burger King. See, the chips are shit at Burger King. I don't like chips, though. It's a lot oh, more okay. of a burger man, so. <laughs> so. You know what you should say? We go, we, we've got a lot of common ground. Okay, Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to have to go along with that, definitely. Ketchup or mustard? Ketchup. Oh, we see you're torn. You're yeah. not sure, are you? It depends who you're spreading it on. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have to say on the matter. <laughs> Can you elaborate? What? <laughs> no. You know when you say, what's the stupidest thing you've ever done on tour? <laughs> <laughs> if someone, if a TV company came to you um, and asked um, you guys to put someone in a reality show, <laughs> who do you think, who do you think, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think Dave would be the most... But he's the he's best he externalises everything that goes through his brain. So, so everything, every little kind of electrical wave that passes yeah. through Dave's brain comes out of his mouth. So things that go through his brain are very strange. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, it'd be perfect. We got yeah. an example. Well, Dave, Dave's, Dave's, it's the odd malapropism, so he'll get words slightly wrong. Um, uh, what's the one about the uh, Hello Girls at the studio? What was uh, it? Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, that was fantastic. Uh, remember it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, he see, he, he came came on, and there was some backing singers, there was girls who were working on the album, and he just been, he'd been for a sleep or something, so he had his shorts and t-shirt, and he went, he came down, and he went, uh, excuse me, choir girls, <laughs> <laughs> not a choir, a choir. If you guys were um, <laughs> just l m found yourself locked in a room, um, Could couldn't get out. <laughs> <laughs> we could ask that. We could. We could change no, I'm sure that. Your question was Who better. Do you go first? <laughs> well, um, was what, what, what item could you just not live without? I hate to admit it, but my mobile phone. Yeah, me too. Okay. That's done. Mm. Yeah, I hear myself saying that. But yeah. Mm. And you could call someone to get out as well. That's, yeah, that's a good, good answer. Yeah. Practical. What mm. have we got to look forward to from you guys in the coming months? Well, uh, after this tour, we uh, we resume kind of writing the next album, really, and then we're doing some festivals in the summer across Europe, um, and then um, more of the same, really. We're just going to keep on doing what we do, and um, you know, hopefully, kind of expand the union into other areas and, and places and, and uh, countries, and and just do that. Did either of you guys have any interesting news resolutions? Try and. Drink less. <laughs> That's not going very well. Did it not? No, no, no. That's <laughs> That's, uh, it's probably because you weren't being precise enough. Drinking less is just. It's a bit vague. Leaves it open yeah, for everything. Conceptually, <laughs> uh, no, I, I see where you're coming from with that. Yeah. No, uh, 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 well, it's too late now. Well, Might as well just get smashed. Exactly. What advice would you guys give to um, uh, Queen's University students who are um, in bands or just starting up bands and want to get into the music business? Don't bother. <laughs> <laughs> Maintain your sense of humour at all times because you will learn the value or you will learn to cope with all sorts of things, disappointment, misery. Um, but the high bits are great, the good bits are fantastic. So, And that's why we all do it, it's because the good bits are great. Okay, well, thanks very much for chatting with us. Um, yeah, James Brett will amplify signing up.